This shit crazy. Dirk and young boy going big boy crazy. Dirty driving Friday, say I'm do do zero. Dead nigga to drop the same time. After that, it's OTF time. Young boy just lost the King Vine. But call that black number one now. Marcy Lamb Dirk topping the charts. No cap, yeah. My young boy ain't take the challenge. Dirk giving 7K worth for Bitcoin. Bringing me into the rent to me and let it run for game. Wanna shed tears, gilly give my Ops talking, take his life for a check. Get some rain, get some fame, put these diamonds around your neck. My ops keep on dying, keep turning in the runs. If you was small and I was boozy, would you ride on me? Get up on the stand, testify on me. You know this OT have a lot of murders over here. One thing for shit show, Lil Dirk and OTF gotta know. Wallow and Gilly, they really rock with them boys. Wallow and Gilly just gave Dirk the best promotion. Ain't no way Dirk can't sell 100,000, 90,000, 80,000 this first week. They almost had, what, 75,000 people? On live watching at one time. That's better than a billboard. That's better than that. Plus, he got billboards up. You know what I'm saying? Plus, the label's gonna do what they do. Plus, he dropped the video. Plus, he giving away over 7,000 worth of Bitcoin. All you gotta do is drop your cash out and he'll pick you. He may not, he may. You never know, but gamble. Life a gamble, right? Yeah. Then it was smart for him to bring a million dollars in cash on a million dollars worth of game right before your album release. And they dropped it right at the time, like at 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? 4 30, 7 30, 6 30, around that time right there. So, you know, after that drop, you know, an hour or two, hour or two long show. Then, you know, a couple of hours to get about 12 o'clock. And bam, he dropped a video. You know what I'm saying? Dropping Bitcoin. And he, you know what I'm saying? Going crazy. If Dirt album sell anything under what King Von sold, that's 65K or under, that means Dirt did something wrong. Yeah, he dropped the wrong song. He didn't do the right promotion or enough. But how's that when he did million dollars worth of game? It was over 70,000 people in the live. So I don't know what that. He got to sell at least 65K or better. You know what I'm saying? If not, he did something wrong. Young boy fans going to eat that up. If it only sell like 40K or 35K or somewhere around there, 50K, then young boy fans going to eat that up because they ain't had none of that promotion. The baby or young boy, they ain't do no million dollars worth of game or a whole bunch of interviews. Two days, they recorded it, they dropped it. You know, they posted on their page. The baby dropped the video or two. That was it. And they still did 35K and got a couple of M's. So if it don't do way better than that, then... They're going to be like, how you the voice of the streets? Or you be talking all that big dog talk, but you can't even outsell your artist, King Von. You can barely outsell Young Boy and the Baby. So how you going to call out Young Boy solo? And you barely outselling the Baby and Young Boy together. When a lot of people know when Young Boy do joint mixtapes together, they don't do too good. Yeah, it ain't like his solo project. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, that's that on that. Plus, Dirk came with the billboard. Dirk is better down there in Louisiana. But he should have put his album on there. Not Dirk is better. You do that when you ain't really dropping nothing. You just trying to be funny. You see what I'm saying? Like with Young Boy, he put his album up there. Now, he could have said something back to you like that. You see what I'm saying? But now, nah, he want to promote his mixtapes, his albums, whatever. That's what you supposed to do. Not Dirk is better. They already seen that on the internet. They can go on the internet on your page and see that. You supposed to put your album up. You want them numbers up. You trying to sell 200000 your first week, 150000 Make it real hard for Young Boy when he drop. Because he got to top that. Not Dirk is better, but, you know, I guess you can do what you want to do. But Young Boy was a bit more smarter when he put his billboard up because he got a bigger one and he put his mixtape on it. Yeah, to run them old strings back up. Yeah, to keep running it up because his mixtape could be right under your album and he been dropped it. You see what I'm saying? So you got to be real smart when you're trying to be funny and you're trying to do business at the same time, especially when you're dropping the album. You see what I'm saying? So next time he'll know. But Wallow267 crying, telling his brother's story. That's not the first time Wallow told that story and he cried. Every time he tell that story, he cried. But that's the first time he got all this attention because all them OTF members, them O-Block, them Chicago members in there. And everybody know that a lot of them members in that room gonna kill and die, go to prison and die. Dirt gonna be good and all that there and some couple other members, maybe a couple artists is gonna be good, but a lot of them other soldiers, they ain't gonna make it. So that's why the energy was felt so strong in that room. Cause he cried every time. He always get the same pain and put the same energy in that story when he tell it every time. But this time, with all them demons and steppers and hustlers and entrepreneurs in the room, all that energy put together, the power it was so strong that everybody had to share it and everybody felt it. That's what that was in this situation. Of course, all the members heard him. They heard what he said, and they know he right. But the reality is a lot of them 
just can't do it. They can't be no wallow. They can't, you know what I'm saying, change their life. That's what they feel. They didn't program that in their head. And they cool with how their story going to end. Death or prison. They cool with that death. Some will change. At least one member out of that room besides Dirk. They will change and turn their life around for the better. Still do their thing, but change their life for the better. And you know, if that happened, then mission completed. Mission completed. All it takes is one. One is better than none. If nobody changed, that means it went in one ear and out the other. You already know how it go. But in the real world, everybody else who watching, you can change thousands of people's lives. Millions, who knows? A lot of young teens can see that and be like, you know what? He right. I ain't never look at it like that. Yeah, what about my babies, the nieces, and my mama, and my sister, and yeah, my little brother, my kids, I got my daughter, my son, and my nephews, I got to take care of them, yeah, my dream's bigger than that, yeah, I can go slide, and I will kill, or I could die, I could even get away with the murder, but nah, I ain't got to do it, I ain't got to have that on my conscience, I can just change my life and come another way, rich, get wealthy, get back at my ops like that, yeah, make them see me on TV, make them see me on the internet, yeah, make them pay me for service. Make them pay me to teach them how to be a business creator or anything. Make them pay me to fix their trucks. Never know. Make them pay me to rent cars, meaning my business. Make them pay me to get their hair cut, meaning my barber shops. Make them pay me to wash their clothes. You never know. You never know how God going to let you get back at them. You know what I'm saying? So that's my take on this conversation right here, man. Go!